So that's right guys, just like the title said, I got the new hats today. I uh, got them picked up. I was a little worried that I wasn't going to get them in time for uh, GIE. But uh, so the uh, big logo, the one that's on the back of the t-shirts, uh, it's a little too intricate. Uh, you can't really uh, embroider that. I could have had it screen printed on a hat. But uh, I really like the look of the embroidered hats and over the screen printed hats. So we kind of settled with doing the same logo that's on the chest of the shirts on the hats. And uh, I think they turned out really good. Uh, I've always done like a white back uh, and it gets just really nasty and dirty over time. Uh, so I'm going to try these with the black on the back, but it's still the screen. Uh, these are the platinum hats. Uh, if you've ever seen the uh, company uh, Native, uh, I know they're around Arkansas. I don't know if they do other states and uh, things like that, but uh, it's the same hats they use, these platinum series hats. Uh, they seem to hold up really, really good. I've got some Native hats, so that's kind of why I wanted to go with these. But uh, just thought I'd kind of show you guys the hats and uh, been working on another video today. Uh, got the camera out, uh, working on the new trailer, putting some stuff on it. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited about the hats. Um, I'm excited about that new logo. I really like the new logo. I knew it was a little too intricate to uh, embroider, but you know, it's just the fact that I really like the logo, but uh, I couldn't put it on the hats. Uh, are you handing them out at GIE? Uh, no, I'm sorry, but I, I, I really can't hand them out at GIE. It's really not something I can just give away. Uh, unfortunately, they're a little bit on the pricey side. So, I, you know, I just don't have the money to to hand out a bunch of hats. I wish I could, trust me. I would love to just hand out hats all day. That'd be awesome. And that's kind of why I did the stickers. Uh, that was a way I can hand things out to people uh, and give back to you guys that watch the videos. Uh, I know it's only a sticker, but you know, I, I, I felt like I needed to give you something uh, just as a thank you to all you guys that watch the channel. And trust me, I wish I could give, I, I, I really do. I wish I could just hand them out all day long. Um, I'm gonna bring a couple and uh, I may do kind of a giveaway or some giveaways or something like that and you know find a way to make it fair to give away to people but it's only gonna be you know probably two to four hats something like that um, but uh, so I may do something like that I'm gonna bring a couple t-shirts to give away uh, I may do the same thing try to find a fun way to give them away uh, unfortunately again it's just so expensive to give these things away so I'm just not gonna be able to do that at GIE how's the new trailer treating you uh, I actually have not taken that trailer out uh, I've not yeah I've not taken that trailer out yet um, I'm actually working on it today shooting a video uh, on some of the work I'm doing on it um, but, uh, right now the, the video I'm doing is going to be on the little gate lifts, um, uh, getting some of those installed, kind of having to do a custom install on, uh, this trailer because they're not designed for the, uh, four foot high, uh, sidewalls. So kind of having to do a custom install, but like I said, I've been shooting a video for that. So I hate to put it on the live video when I got another video going, so... Uh, not really gonna reveal that to you guys yet but uh, I got uh, a bunch of equipment from Equipment Defender to go on the trailer uh, so I've got a lot of work to do on this trailer before I take it out uh, I'm excited about using it but I really want to get it set up real nice before I before I use it um, I gotta get weed eater racks on here. I really don't wanna trust those uh, homemade racks that are on the sides. Uh, I wanna get those equipment defenders where I can lock them on there and know that they're not gonna go anywhere. Uh, shop tour. 
Uh, the shop isn't really ready yet. I mean, really, all I've been doing is just kind of storing stuff in the trailer. So right now, kind of what you see behind me, that's my shop. Uh, this is just in the garage of our house. Uh, I've got this set up. But uh, I tried to set it up almost the exact same way it was uh, on the other, or at the other house. I tried to set it up just like that. But, uh, how's it going on this Friday the 13th? Is it really Friday the 13th? I didn't even realize it. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the shop right now. Uh, hopefully I'm going to get to working on the uh, big shop here pretty soon. Uh, I've got to get the contractor out here, let him look at it see what he can do with uh the concrete and stuff like that but uh i'm excited about getting you know getting on the uh shop and getting it ready to go and uh hopefully have it ready this winter so i'll have it i'll, I'll be completely moved into it by the time uh the season starts next year uh same way with this trailer I hope to have it completely ready. Uh, I'll be surprised if it's ready by the time or before this season's over. Uh, what's a super chat? At the bottom, it's asking me if I want to start one. Uh, I, you know, I didn't set up any kind of super chat. I know super chat is where you have to like pay to have a special. Um, uh, comment on there, I guess. Uh, I've seen it on other guys' lives. Um, I guess it just automatically gets put on there. I didn't put it on there. But, uh, it's just like kind of a donation type thing. And all I've ever seen is like, every time people do it, they get a shout out. That's, that's about it. But that's all I really know about it. Sorry. Uh, plowing snow. No, we don't really have snow here. Uh, bring me a hat at GIE. Uh, Lanier, Danny, man, I, I will try my best. Um, you know, the hats are kind of pricey. I mean, I'm sure you've had some made. Uh, I, I just can't, I just can't afford to hand a ton of them out. Uh, I'm gonna try to give a few away. Uh, kind of figure out some way to do a giveaway at GIE and uh, give away a couple hats. Um, I'll see how many I got left and I, I, I'll try to hook you up if I can. I, I promise if I can. Uh, yeah, countryside. <laughs> Danny will review it. <laughs> But yeah, countryside, I, I agree. That's kind of crazy, the whole super chat thing. But uh, if I, I really haven't ever seen it on. I didn't know I had it set up on here. And if I can take it off, I will, because I, I, don't, I don't want people to use it. I'll review anything for the right price. Uh... Danny, the only price I have is you can pay me for the hat and then review it. <laughs> uh. But yeah, GIE is just right around the corner. It, I mean, it's unbelievable. I feel like I just got back from GIE last year and now we're already there. Uh, what are we? like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So four days away. Um, I'm gonna get there Wednesday. I did find out my flight gets there at like 1.30 on Wednesday. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go straight from the airport uh, over to the Expo Center and check out the dealer today. Uh, then I'll get go get checked into the hotel and then I'm gonna head downtown. Uh, I got a little dinner to go with, with some other guys. And then I'm sure we're gonna go watch the uh, Uncle Cracker show. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be awesome, man. 
Um, uh, I'm excited. Uh, it's always fun. It's always very little sleep. Uh, it's just go, 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 go the whole time we're there. So that makes it fun. Um, I'm going to video some. <laughs> you get dinner with the famous Danny. <laughs> I'm too poor to go. I should start reviewing things too. Maybe I can get a sponsor. Countryside, you're way up in like New York, aren't you, man? What's your opinion on right other than price? Uh, I've never used a right, so I, I really don't have an opinion on them. Um, I, I've actually never stepped foot on one. Uh, you might check out some of these other guys on here that use those right standards and uh, talk to them about it. Uh, they will definitely give you better information than I can give you. I think the real problem is I buy too many toys. <laughs> yeah, I, I have that problem sometimes too. Uh, buying this new house, that, that took a hit. But uh, luckily I had already kind of paid for all the GIE stuff before because uh, we rented a house through that Airbnb and uh, I guess I got that like six months ago or something like that. I just went ahead and booked it while I could and uh, had that already booked and paid for and then already had my plane ticket paid for so I had paid for that several months ago before we even bought this house before I even knew I was getting this house so that was probably a good thing that that happened that way um, because if it wasn't for that I'd probably be questioning spending the money to go to GIE but uh, luckily it's all paid for and I'm ready to go so it is definitely going to be a fun trip. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to hanging out with everybody, seeing everybody again. Uh, that's always fun because, you know, a lot of us YouTubers, we kind of talk to each other uh, behind the camera, I guess you'd say. And, uh, you know, the only time we actually see each other and get to hang out with each other is at GIE. So it's a fun time for us to to kind of get to know the guys that we talk to on the phone or behind the camera uh, a little better and, and get to see them face to face and just hang out. Um, it, it, I'm telling you, if you've never been to GIE, if you're thinking about going to GIE, uh, just do it. Just hop in the car, uh, find a hotel, which right now I know it would be really hard to find a hotel. You'd probably have to go uh, 20 or 30 minutes outside the city to get one but uh, you know it's really just a place to be uh, you will definitely benefit from it um, even if you don't learn a whole lot uh, it just gets you motivated like this part of the season I know for me it's like I'm starting to get burned out uh, I'm tired of mowing I'm tired of going out every day and uh, I know I'll come back from GIE and I'll be kind of rejuvenated. I'll be pumped up, ready to go. And, uh, you know, that way I've got another month or so of work in me. And then uh, after that, it's my break time. And uh, here in Arkansas, we don't really get a lot of snow. So we get about three months off. And I just do a winter fund. Uh, every month I'm sticking money back uh, to make sure I have plenty of money to make it through the winter uh, and not have to work. I'm going to swing through and grab Martin from Motown, then I'll be there next year. You know, that is one guy I would love to see at the GIE is Martin. Um, I actually got the opportunity to talk to him on the phone one time, and uh, he is an awesome guy. The same guy that you see in his videos, he's the same guy on the phone. Uh, he is an awesome guy. Uh, got an awesome channel. Uh, I think you know it doesn't grow very fast and it's always stayed as a small channel I've always been disappointed for him I want him to grow and get to having a bigger channel but uh, I think what hurts him the most is 
you know, their summer is while we're in winter, and their winter is while we're in summer. So he has the opposite season. And with uh, lawn care on YouTube, uh, in the winter time, the videos seem to really slow down. Uh, it's about the time of GIE. The videos will start to slow down. Uh, you'll quit getting as many views. You'll quit getting as many subs. And uh, it, but that's the prime time for him. So I think that's kind of what what hurts his channel. What hurts his videos. But uh, definitely love his channel and. I, I I subscribe to his channel, I watch his videos, and I would urge anybody to go check out Motown. It's so weird. It shows like there's one person in here, but I've got more than just one person commenting, so I don't know what the deal is. Uh. Uh, this is my first year in landscaping. I've always been in the snow business. I'm not familiar with GIE. Okay, well, GIE is the Green Industry Expo. It's in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, it has grown. This will be my third year there. The first year, I mean, there was a lot of people. Last year, it was nuts. Uh, I think this year, it's supposed to be even bigger. So... Uh, you get to see, you get to meet all these different companies. You get to see products that you've never seen before, never heard of before. Uh, you get to see products that are new to the market, have just come out, or are just getting released. Uh, they also have a huge, I think it's like 20 acre uh, demo area outside where you can demo everything from mowers to excavators uh, skid steers, all kinds of stuff. You actually can get on them, use them, dig a hole in the ground if you want to, whatever. But uh, if you've never heard of it, look up, uh, just Google GIE Expo. Uh, they have a website, tells you all about it. Definitely check it out, especially if you're new to the landscaping game, because uh, you can learn a lot at these expos. But other than that, guys, yeah, it, it is definitely a great time. Definitely check it out, Kevin. Um, uh, you know, there's classes and things like that. I've never been to the classes. Uh, you do have to pay extra for those. Uh, it's not something I've ever done, uh, but they do have classes about business and landscaping, lawn care, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're interested in that and learning from that kind of stuff. I uh, gotta go trying to upload part two from yesterday's video. Glad to see you're doing great, buddy. Uh, countryside, absolutely, man. Thank you for stopping in. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time, man. But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, we're already at almost 20 minutes on this video. Uh, I just wanted to kind of stop in and talk about the hats. Uh, really excited about those. And look forward to seeing all you guys at GIE next week. And uh, hope everybody has a safe trip up to GIE, down to GIE, whichever direction you're coming from. But uh, can't wait to see you guys. And I will see y'all there.